Temporal bias arises from differences in populations and behaviors over time. Most data or data points do have some form of temporal bias. Temporal bias affects both the internal and external validity of data. It affects the generalizability of the observations over time. It is important to remember that populations, behaviors, and systems change as time passes. A researcher may find a correlation between data set A and data set B and believes that the link between A and B can be used as part of a model. A correlation between A and B may exist, but it will be of a temporary nature only. Using this correlation in a model exhibits temporal bias. This goes not only for correlations, but for many other forms of relationships and data points. If a relationship changes over time, then it simply cannot be used in a model which attempts to predict what happens in the future. Relationships change, correlations change, opinions change. Most things are subject to ebb and flow. Implications of temporal bias can be seen mostly regarding the use of social data. An example can be observed in Twitter, where people talk about a particular topic using a hashtag at some point to capture attention, then continue discussing the event without the hashtag. We can see impacts of temporal bias during data collection. Data collected at different points in time may differ along diverse criteria. This criteria could include who is using the system, how the system is being used, and what affordances may be present. We should be cautious when relying on this data as there are variations on when and for how long users focus on certain topics that may be triggered by current trends, seasonality, or periods of activity, or can be engineered by marketing campaigns or new features. Even best practices in product design and model building will not be enough to remove the risk of unwanted bias, particularly in cases of temporal bias data. It is important to recognize the limitations of our data, our models, and technical solutions to bias, both for awareness's sake and so that human methods of limiting bias in machine learning, such as human in the loop, can be considered.